Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Purudhavan and I hope you all are doing well. Today, we are going to talk about proteinuria. I understand that many of you may not be familiar with this term. So let me explain. Proteinuria is also known as albuminouria and it is a condition in which there is an excessive amount of protein in the urine. It is not a disease on its own but rather a symptom of certain kidney conditions. Now you may be wondering whether protein in the urine is a serious problem. So yes protein in your urine is serious and it is an early stage of chronic kidney disease. Additionally proteins have many important functions such as building muscles and bones, regulating the amount of fluid in your blood and fighting for infection as well as repairing damaged tissue as well. But the most important thing is protein should remain in our blood. If protein enters your urine, they ultimately leaves your body which can harm our overall health. Now, what are the symptoms you can feel when you are suffering from this condition? You may notice swelling in the different parts of your body like the lower side of the body like feet, ankle, frequent urination, shortness of breath, fatigue, loss of appetite, muscle cramps at night, puffiness around your eye while waking up and most importantly foaming or bubbly urine. Now many of you have doubts that it is common for a female to have protein loss in their body and the answer is it is common. Furthermore, I will also explain why UTI is more prevalent in females. Due to the open urinary tract in females, there is high risk of infection. And if a female has UTI, it is common for protein to appear in their urine. In case of female patient, it is important to ensure that she has no history of infection or UTI. If there is no UTI, then the presence of abnormal protein in that area is considered a cause for concern. When discussing UTI in male body, it is uncommon because of the small size of the tract. However, if you are diabetic and experiencing protein in your urine along with the bacteria, then it is important to take notice. In such cases, a test should be taken to identify the type of infection present. If you have a negative report of UTI and you have confirmed that there is no infection like bacteria but protein is still present, it can indicate a problem with your kidneys. One should also know that kidney damage which can be caused by high blood pressure or diabetes can trigger inflammation in the kidneys. As a result, protein which is meant to be provide strength to our body may start to filter out of the kidneys and it causes a change in the color of the urine and make it more bubbly and foamy as well. If you suspect that your urine is not normal, it is advised to visit a laboratory and undergo a protein examination. If protein is found in the urine and there is no sign of infection, it is clear indication that there is something wrong with the kidneys. As I mentioned earlier, you can also perform the urine test at home instead of going to a lab. It is a simple process and I will show you how to do this with a demonstration. First, take a clean disposable plastic cup and collect a sample of your urine. Then dip a test strip in your urine and remove it. You will notice a change in the color of the strip's paper. If the paper changes from yellow to green, it indicates that there is a protein in your urine sample. This change in the color can be compared to the chart on the bottle to estimate the protein in your urine. For instance, a darker green color indicates a higher level of protein. This information is also included in your lab report. And most lab uses this method to test urine sample. You can purchase these urinalysis reagent strips from online websites such as Amazon as they may not be available at the local pharmacy. In conclusion, I would like to clear up any remaining doubts you may have. Protein in the urine can be caused by a variety of factors ranging from minor infection to more serious conditions such as kidney failure. 
it is important to address the presence of protein in the urine to avoid any further complication but still if you have any doubt or question please leave them in the comment section or contact us on the number displayed on your screen and i will see you all in the next video till then take care bye bye and namaste